This is our first video going over muscle skeletal injuries or bone muscle joint injuries. So the first thing I wanted to kind of go over is just our assessment of these injuries and deciding how we would treat. So there's a lot of acronyms out there and we've tried to simplify it at Wild Med Kids to come up with two streams of treatment, really deciding whether an injury is stable or unstable. And what really determines that is the patient's ability to use the affected limb. So if it's a, a wrist that's injured, what we really want to see is can that patient lift something up? So lift up, you know, a water bottle or something and move that wrist. If they can, and even if it hurts a little bit, that's a stable injury. They can fully grasp something and they can use their arm. Then that's a stable injury that we're going to be able to treat with this acronym RICE that probably a lot of people have heard of. Uh, for a leg, if it's, if it's a foot that's injured, what we really want to assess is that the patient can stand and walk on it. So if the patient can put their own weight on it and walk, you know, more than five steps unassisted, then that's going to be a stable injury that really is more guidance to the patient on how to try to keep that injury from being too painful um, and allowing it to heal over time. And it often doesn't require any further medical assessment. An unstable injury is someone who's unable to use that limb. So if it's a hand, they're unable to grasp, they can't move that that uh, affected area through its range of motion, then that's gonna be something that we're gonna splint or immobilize and then transport for further medical assessment. And we'll be using the acronym CAST for that. So we'll go through those two streams as we discuss more in these videos.